In Genesis 8, there's this incredible story of a flood, an ark, a man named Noah, and it says this, but God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and livestock, and they were all in there in the ark with him, and he sent a wind over the earth, and the waters receded. Now the springs of the deep and the floodgates of the heavens had been closed, and the rain had stopped falling from the sky. The water receded steadily from the earth. At the end of 150 days, the water had gone down. The devastating flood was over. God steps in, shows he has control over the wind, the rain, the ocean, the waves, and God reminded them he never left. He was there through the storm. In Matthew 14, the disciples are again on a lake. Jesus walks on the water to come up to the boat. They're terrified, which makes sense. And he says, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come onto the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. He began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand, caught him, and said, you have little faith. He said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshiping, worshiped him, saying, truly, you are the Son of God. Once again, we see Jesus reminding them, I'm still in control. They don't understand what control meant. We don't understand what control means. But they knew that he was God and he was with them. We don't understand why God does the things he does when he does them and when he doesn't do them. But over and over, scripture, one story after the next, reminds us that he is in it with us and that he loves us. He does love them. There is a purpose. There are things that are not understandable. But he never leaves you. He never forsakes you. He seeks to hold you and be with you and love you through the challenges of this life. We may not fully understand the purpose of what we're facing right now. But he continues to tell us, I am. We don't understand. But the waves never stop. We don't understand. But the wind never stops. We don't understand most things that happen in this world. And God continues to remind us he is still God. He loves you. And even in our rejection of him, he doesn't stop being there. He says, I am.